Hi everyone, it's been a while since I've made a video on this channel and uh, but I wanted to make a, a, a video about the recent Max Landis accusations that have come out and the reason that I wanted to do this is because I defended him uh, to a degree early on when he was first being accused of things and uh, so really, like I, I, maybe from my own peace of mind more than anything else, I wanted to make this video and also really to, to throw it out to you guys like what, what you think about this situation and uh, maybe people who were in a similar boat to me who were hesitant to throw Max Landis under the bus when we didn't have a lot of information. So if you don't know who Max Landis is, first of all, He's a screenwriter, he has a famous uh, father who's a director who directed some of my favourite movies, The Blues Brothers, American Werewolf in London, Trading Places, amongst others. And Max Landis himself has become a successful screenwriter, writing films like Chronicle. And he's also, um, probably more so for a lot of people, he's well known as being a kind of public persona or a, a, a public figure who goes on a lot of YouTube channels and a lot of shows and gives his energetic, quirky take on pop culture and films in general. He's also, for someone like myself, he's also been, been someone who has given out a lot of writing tips online. I say that as if he gave them to me. I've never met Max Landis or spoken to him, but I do... Um, I do know that 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 I do know at least one person who has uh, personally. But anyway, um, he used to put out a lot of writing tips, and those tips were things that a lot of budding writers took to. One of the reasons for that is that a lot of writers don't find their voice outside of their writing. Maybe they're not interested in being in front of the camera or making podcasts or that sort of thing. Um, or they just feel that they present their best self when they are uh, writing, you know. Um, I mean, certainly I feel that way a lot of a lot of the time. I feel that, that I'm presenting uh, my best self because I can go through the editing process. Whereas when I do something like this, you're just kind of talking off the cuff, so to speak, and some people don't like that. But anyway, so... Max Landis was someone who was admired by quite a lot of people, had a bit of a Marmite personality. He was a bit of an unusual character and because of that some people really took to him and some people didn't. So anyway, um, he was accused, I think it was maybe about a year ago, I might have the timing on this wrong. Um, my my timing on things recently has went out the window because I, I became a dad but anyway um, I think it was about a year ago he made it's not he made but there was an accusation made about him on Twitter and that accusation was kind of it said that he was an abuser that he'd abused people but the accuser as far as I remember and as far as I'm aware I'm sure people will correct me on these things if I'm if I'm factually incorrect but the accuser was someone who hadn't been abused by Max Landis but knew people who had and said, I know at least one person personally, I know, and, and a few others who have all been abused, some uh, emotionally and some physically by Max Landis. Uh, and what I said at the time was, because the thing is with Twitter is that it, it, it can be quite a an extreme place. You You kind of have to follow like one extreme path or another extreme path and if you don't if you go against anything then a lot of people uh really they really attack you um but i you know, I try to ignore a lot of that stuff as best i can but i all I, I got involved in the conversation because i was saying look i am 100 percent a supporter of the me too movement i know people have been abused i i know the damage that it does to people and to their lives and I'm really glad that I live in a time to see victims being able to come forward and um, basically find their voice and, and be able to have a voice and to be heard and uh, hopefully for abusers to be, at the very least, prosecuted. So I'm totally behind the Me Too movement. However, when it's an accusation that is really kind of 
uh, subtle or really, it's not well defined. It, there are no specific details and it doesn't even come from the person who claims to have been abused. Then what I was saying about Max Landis was, I don't think we should cancel him as a lot of people do these days. I don't think we should throw him under the bus. I don't think that, that he should not be allowed to work again because we don't know what these accusations are. We don't know what they are and we don't know um, we don't know if he's guilty of them or not. We just don't know. We don't know who, who's claiming to be abused. We don't know any of these things. So I, I think that there's a middle way with these with these things where you can kind of withhold your judgment. So anyway, I, I you know I got a little bit of a heat for saying this uh, in circles where the idea is that if someone makes an accusation, they should be instantly believed, and I don't agree with that as much as it pains me to say that because. I would hope that every person who makes an accusation is telling the truth, but there are some who are not. And uh, because of that, I I just, I think under certain circumstances, I'm not willing to say this person is 100% guilty. So that's, that's where I was coming from. And uh, recently there have been a number of revelations about him and there have been articles put together. I think it, I saw one on Variety, I think Daily Beast, uh, maybe a couple of others. And essentially, eight women have came forward now and they have given specific details about the emotional and physical abuse. Uh, and they've made out, I think in one case, uh, Max Landis has been accused of rape uh, directly by someone and then by uh, one or two other people have came forward and said, I've sort of seen him do really, really dodgy things. And so there's this picture now that we have of Max Landis as someone who used his fame and used apparently his, his crowd, his group of people that he's kind of, um, that have been gravitating around him to make people feel special if he pulled them into his circle and then use that to essentially abuse people um, the, emotionally, uh, psychologically and physically. So uh, do I 100% know that he's guilty? No. But if you look at, for example, like the Bill Cosby case, which... I don't know anyone that could have had doubt about that, really, because there were so many women who came forward. Um, and the stories were all pretty much in line with each other. Uh, but, like, for Max Landis, eight women, that's a, that's quite a lot. And um, it, it's, it's now difficult to see Max Landis in any other light but as a deeply troubled person who has uh, done great harm to a number of people. Um, there are some things, sometimes I think it's difficult to differentiate between someone just being mean and someone being an abuser. And I do think there is a difference there. But the stuff, and, and I think there are people who are still trying to defend him. But that line, when you read the stuff, and it's grim reading, when you read the stuff that Max Landis is alle alleged to have done, even just if you take even the physical stuff away, the things that he's done like um, making lists of the women that he's been with and ranking them and then showing that to like his current girlfriend and saying like, you know, you're way down here, you know, like, all that sort of stuff. That's like, that's really, really uh, pathological behaviour. And um, if you're in any relationship where someone's trying to make you feel bad about yourself, then uh, that's, that's, that's no relationship worth being in. So... Anyway, I'm I'm now at the place where I where I said all along we don't have any details, so I can't say that, that I think he's guilty or not. Now we have all these details and I think it it, it stretches credibility to, to deny that, that he has duped an awful lot of people. I've been on the Max Landis subreddit. I'll put links to various things down down uh, in the the description. The Max Landis subreddit is filled with people who all wanted these allegations to be false. But it makes for some interesting reading because you have a lot of people who have come to that realisation, even the mods, who are like, look, this is someone that I admired, um, especially for his writing tips and things like that, and followed his work eagerly. And now I think he's a monster. You know, so, but they're not taking the, the, the subreddit down. So there are a lot of people there and they're just, just kind of picking over what what has kind of happened. 
um and it's 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 fascinating in some it's horrible to say fascinating when it when you're talking about the abuse of people but what i'm really saying is it's kind of fascinating how people's opinions can be forged online based on uh little bits of information and then more information comes and your opinion can completely change um so that's all i really wanted to say about it um just kind of clarify where i am on this in case there are people who uh start speaking to me about this again and i'm just like look there's the video watch that that explains everything that i'm that I, I i believe about this now you know it's just a horrible horrible thing i think a lot of people are really really uh, i mean it's worse obviously far 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 worse for the people who have actually been abused but i think for people who followed and, and i enjoyed watching his writing videos as a writer it's uh it's really really brutally disappointing to see someone especially someone who flexed a lot about kind of social justice and you see a lot of that you know and sometimes when people kind of portray themselves in that way i'm not saying always doubt them absolutely not but sometimes that means they're they're, they're really trying to pull the wool over your eyes there's actually a deleted video from his channel where he was talking about someone else who'd been accused of abuse uh, a few years ago and uh in that video it's it's i've seen a version of it now um that's it's not on youtube anymore but i watched it on streamable and it's kind of dark when you watch that now because he's kind of circling this almost this kind of confession that he's done things and uh he talks about that quite a bit in the video and it's like you know had he really got to a healthy place or was he just trying to it feels like in that video he's almost trying to persuade anyone who's going to make an accusation about him to kind of not do it it's a very a very sort of strange thing and going by um statements that have been made by recent girlfriends it doesn't seem like he had actually changed at all really so um but anyway that's uh that's all i wanted to say about that and um please do let me know what your thoughts are what you think about the whole the whole mess and uh hopefully the the victims can at least get some sort of solace from the fact that uh he there are very few people defending him now although there are still some there are very very few doing that now and uh although of course that can never take away the pain of these these sorts of things so anyway i'll be back soon in another video and i uh, hope you're all doing well bye for now